stupid fencing. Uh, Mr. Todd, what are you doing here? What does it look like I'm doing, you ridiculous rabbit? I'm hunting! What? Strawberries? No. You! Oh, my paw! You want to watch out for that fencing. It's tricky. <gasps> Mr. McGregor! Well, it's been nice talking with you, Mr. Todd, but I'm afraid I've got to hop to it. Wait! Peter, don't leave me. Mr. McGregor hates foxes. I'll be stuffed and put on the mantelpiece for sure. Your... your father wouldn't let a fellow creature out here. What did you say? I said your father wouldn't have left me out here. He'd have helped. <sighs> I can't believe I'm even thinking of helping Mr. Todd. If I help you, do you promise you won't try to catch me? No, but I'll give you a head start. All right, all right. Rabbit is off my menu for good. Fox's honour. Just get me out of here. Hurry! <laughs> Silly rabbit. Never turn your back on a fox. Ouch! My paw! Shh! If you want to get out of here, you've got to be quiet. Come on! What's going on over here? Oh, no. I know you're in here somewhere, you thieves. Ow. Oh. Oh. It's a dead end, you foolish rabbit. You say dead end, I say clever escape route. Look! Even a one-legged fox should be able to climb up there and over the wall. Oh. Oh. Oh, you could say thank you. Say thank you to a rabbit. Ha! I'd rather eat this cane here. Whoa! Ooh, ooh. Ouch! Ooh. <sighs> thank you. Don't think I can't hear you, rabbits! <gasps> Mr. McGregor! You've got to help me find another way out of here. Please, if, if you do, I'll... I'll, um... I'll give you all the vegetables in my kitchen. Come back here, rabbits! All of them? OK, fine. But follow me and stay low. The only vegetables you're going to see are the ones cooking with you in my Come pot. Come back here! Wait, wait! Not, not so fast! Out! Wait! Just keep up, Mr Todd, or I'll end up in a pie and you'll end up as a fur hat. Very much. Wait a second. Why did you help me? I took no pleasure in it, believe me. But with my injured paw, I can't just hop over the wall. I still need your help to get me out of this accursed garden. Oh, uh, I don't know, Mr. Todd. I should get going. No! You, you, you can't leave. 
Please, Peter, help me and I'll... I'll... Um, I'll show you where to find my secret blackberry bush. I already know where that is. You do? All right, then. I promise not to try and catch you while you eat them. <sighs> OK, Mr Todd. Follow me and try to keep up. Ha! Won't try to catch you indeed. Foolish rabbit. Have I got a surprise in store for you? There it is. That's our pumpkin. <laughs> Cotton tail. <laughs> you know, it doesn't really have to be a pumpkin. What about that turnip? Oh, that cabbage over there is pretty big. Yeah, they're okay, but not as nice as a giant pumpkin. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> hurry! suppose you've got any string. Hmm, let's see. Uh, just in case, Bucket, just in case. <gasps> Perfect. But what do you need it for? You'll see. <laughs> Catch me if you can! <laughs> Come on! Whoa! Ah, what's got into you? Mr. McGregor! Hide! <laughs> now let's see. Which pumpkin will it be? Catches us, he'll put us in a pie. Ready, pie, yay! No, Cottontail, no, yay! <laughs> He's not cutting it up. He's scooping the insides out. It'll be much lighter now. I know that for a fact. You're right. But how do we get it down? <laughs> Get it down from there. <gasps> Cottontail! <laughs> Cottontail! <gasps> this is bad. <laughs> Come back here! <laughs> Shot. If we hit it, he'll get us. Keep running. No escape. I've got you now. Snatch a plum from him. 
Uh, catch a thief. Uh, that sounds fun. Huh. I'd certainly like to know who it was. Hmm. Hmm. Come on then, hop to it. He must have gone that way. Let's go. go! Shh. Ready, Benjamin? Without those sprouts. Hey, let's hide under here until the coast is clear. Time. Too long. Look at all this snow. One of these crates must be the sprouts. But which one? They all look the same. Hmm. Rabbits. <gasps> Sprout stealing rabbits. Mr. McGregor, hurry, Peter. Which one is it? Stop. Uh, I think. Uh... These are the sprouts. One, two, three. <laughs> It'll be rubber and sprouts <laughs> you for dinner. Help me. <laughs> in a pie for sure. Can I just say that I think my strawberry raid plan is going really, really well. Go down this way for a while. I don't like this. We're right out in the open. But we want those strawberries, don't we? Besides, Benjamin seems to know where he's going. Then we go this way. Oh, no! Hmm. I wonder if this is right. What? Hey! What's going on over here? Poor wee beans. I just put these up as well. Uh, where's my spade? Ta-da! 
The hat's a clever disguise, huh? Wasn't part of my plan, but I just went with it. Hey, I know what went wrong. <laughs> I had my map upside down. Ah, we're supposed to go this way, around the radishes. But maybe it would be easier if we just cut straight through the radishes? <sighs> Come on, let's give him a chance. He's got it under control. You sure about that? Such hard work. Uh, Benjamin, are you sure you know which way those strawberries are? I could show you. I know where they are. Psst. Right over there. about that lost stuff, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's the plan to get them? Ah, this is a really, really clever bit. We stay here. And Peter runs over there and gets the strawberries. Simple, but effective. I like it. Hop to it! Yes, sir. Strawberries, yum. I knew your plan would work, Benjamin. <gasps> Mama, Mr. McGregor. <gasps> oh no! Peter, Peter, are you okay? I'm stuck. Come on, Benjamin, let's lift. <laughs> <laughs> Too heavy. I know. Just in case, Pocket. Just in case. Uh, no. Uh, no. I really need to sort through my pocket one day. Oh no! Oh no! This is all my fault. Some leader I turned out to be. That's not true, Benjamin. Remember what my dad used to say: a good rabbit <gasps> never gives up. Never give up. Never give up! Huh? I've got an idea! Yes, I really have an actual real idea! It's got to be here somewhere! Uh... But Peter, if that flying machine was still here, we'd have seen it before! I know that for a fact. Mr. Bouncer said my dad crash landed it right after it flew over the wall. Somewhere around here. Nope, not here. Can we go before Mr. McGregor puts us in a. <laughs> Bye. You're right. I can't see that flying machine anywhere. Oh, well, we tried. We can't see it anywhere because it's underground. Of course, it must have sunk into the mud when it crashed. Benjamin, ready for some digging? Yeah. We'd better hurry, Peter. 
Mr McGregor could come out any second. Benjamin will find it. Trust me. I found something. Oh, it's smaller than I expected. It's a potato. Huh. Oh. <laughs> Where is it? It couldn't have just disappeared. It did crash here a long time ago, Peter. It could be anywhere by now. Look on the bright side. We've still got a potato. Found by me. <laughs> just saying. Wait a second. This sign. It looks just like this part of the flying machine. Let me see. Hmm. Aha! Look over there, by the beans. Those look just like these too. Oh, and look, that's the wing. Yes, and there's the middle pole. Yes, great, awesome. Um, I don't get it. Look, Mr McGregor must have found all the parts of the flying machine after it crashed and used them around the garden. It's been here all along, right under our noses. Whoa, ha, ha. Uh, I mean, I thought that's what you meant. I was just checking. All we have to do is put the parts back together. <gasps> Mr McGregor. <sighs> Time to fertilize my veggies. Let's get out of here. We're not going yet. This is the best thing we've ever found. We can't just leave it here. Remember what your dad said? Life is one big adventure. Yeah, but what if this adventure ends with me being put in a pie? Lily and I will get the parts back. Benjamin, you put them together. OK, let's hop to it. Trying to lose you, best be on your Whoa. way. <laughs> Off you go, cause you can't afford to fail today. Proceed with care, think fast and stay away. Oh, yes. And you'll succeed at what you're trying to do. So up you go. To the left. No, right. No, more to the left. Benjamin! There. Oh. Wow. That looks amazing! Now that's what I call a flying machine. So how does it fly? Hmm, let's see. Uh, that doesn't work. Uh, oh, uh, it's no use. We'll never get it to work. Never say never. We can do it. Does it flap like a butterfly? No. Does it glide like an eagle? Nope. Mm. <gasps> right then. <laughs> oh no! Mr. McGregor's blocked the gate! <laughs> and one of our escape tunnels! All the escape tunnels! We're trapped! Whoa! My potato! Phew! <gasps> huh? Robert! Ah! Come on, you beastie! <laughs> to be keeping lookout. And you're supposed to be keeping quiet. But I am being quiet. Um, that wasn't me. Catch! Ah! Oh! <laughs> 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 Away from me! <laughs> Aye, you like a wee fish, don't you, kitty cat? <laughs> if there's one thing I really, really don't like, it's cats! <gasps> ah, my oat cake! <laughs> Oops, excuse me.
Excuse me. Rabbits. Thieving rabbits. You took my cake. You mean Mr McGregor's cake. I stole that old cake fair and square. Ha! <laughs> Tasty, was it? Eh, uh, it was OK. But everyone knows Jemima Puddles up so cakes are the best. Ha! <laughs> Is that right? J Jemima Puddle Duck, you say? Hmm. Ah, oh, well, uh, gotta go. I wonder what that sneaky rat is up to now. I don't know. But you know Sammy Whiskers. He loves cake as much as that cat loves fish. <gasps> yeah, and she loves getting her claws into rabbits too. <laughs> Great, job done. Now let's go home. You're forgetting the sprouts. I just remembered. I don't even like sprouts that much. Blech. Come on, Peter, let's go home. No way. I'm not leaving without those sprouts. They're way too good to leave behind. This time we'll get into the garden without the cat seeing us. I know. We'll tie one of us to the branch, pull it back, then whoosh, catapult into the garden. Grab the sprouts, come back, and we all head home. Um, which one of us were you thinking of catapulting into the garden? Me catapult. No way, Cottontail. It's too dangerous. I should do it. <laughs> Robots! He's seen us! We'd better make this fast! Let's hop to it! We just need to get that sack of sprouts onto the cart and out of the gate. You brought the cart, right? Uh, sort of. What? Uh, we uh, left it on the other side of the gate. Uh, then we'll just have to roll the sack. Come on! <laughs> Hurry! <laughs> Thought you'd come back, did you? <laughs> I've got you at last. When I say jump, jump onto the sack. <laughs> you won't escape me now. <laughs> jump! <laughs> Well, I've got one of you. <gasps> hey, one of Dad's secret tunnels. Sorry, Mr McGregor, but there'll be no rabbit pie on the menu tonight. Come back here! Hey, stop rabbit! Stop it! Hey, cat! Stop that! Quick, look out! Those are my radishes! Peter, you said Mr McGregor wouldn't spot us taking his radishes. Don't worry, Benjamin. He won't find us. Just keep quiet. Phew. Whoa! I don't like where this is going. <laughs> Quick, behind here! <gasps> Dead end! You say dead end. I say there's a secret escape tunnel dug by my dad. Huh? Not here. I'll put you in a pile. Yeah. He said the P word. Um, uh, I was sure the escape tunnel was here. Oh, um, uh, uh, Whoa! There it is. Whoa. Good old dad. Hurry! Ah. Uh, uh, Never uh, 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 the radishes! Say. The 
while we can. Lily's right. We can feed all our families for a week if we get enough food. Make four piles. Roots, fruits, greens and beans. <laughs> Let's hop to it. <laughs> roots, fruits, greens and beans. Roots, fruits, greens and beans. Fruits, fruits, greens and beans. A song about food, sung by food. <laughs> fruity, fruity, queeny, beeny. Fruity, fruity, queeny, beeny. Oh. <gasps> Hello there, Cottontail. Again, again. Phew. Baby Lisa. Queeny, beeny. You've been great, Cottontail. But better leave it to us now, OK? Uh -huh. <laughs> have we got enough? I hope so. If I have to dig up any more radishes, I might turn into one. <laughs> <laughs> Mr McGregor could be back at any second. Don't worry, Lily. We're safe. In fact, why don't we have some lunch? Words right out of my mouth. Mr. Todd! Mind, there's plenty of other rabbits. Now, where are they? Excellent hiding, Lily. Uh, uh, I'm a little strawberry. I'm a little strawberry. How considerate. Providing your own strawberry garnish. Ah! Ah. Ooh. Ooh. No, stop that! Ah. Ah, not on the tweed! Wait, we can't leave without Cottontail. Where'd she go? Peter? Oh, no! Somebody else tag along today, did they? Uh, you don't want my little sister, you want me! Uh, uh. Yay! than a fox. I know that for a fact. Yes, that's it. We get Mr McGregor to scare off Mr Todd for us. That's right. We get Mr McGregor to... Wait, what? It's easy. We wake the cat, the cat alerts Mr McGregor. But how do we get close enough? We can't. 
But I bet someone small and super sneaky could get through that gap. Oh. Wanna play peekaboo with a kitty cat, Cottontail? Smell rabbit. Ah. Well, uh, you're pretty stinky yourself. <laughs> it seems our little game of hide and seek is over. Yeah, but Cottontail's game of peekaboo is about to start. Let me explain a little something about the natural order, young Peter. Rabbits are scared of foxes. Fact! That's true, Mr. Todd. What's the problem, Dad? But then foxes are scared of angry gardeners. Fact! Oh, what angry gardener? <laughs> oh, Mr. McGregor, stop there, you wee thieves! <laughs> <laughs> McGregor? Yep. Lucky for us, he's better at growing than he is at throwing. <laughs> <laughs> really, pretty, greeny, beanie. Let's go home. Looks like we're having a feast tonight. Who's wow, what's that? Ah. <gasps> <gasps>